I just got a new camera, and actually some of you have probably already seen me play with it because I can't stop playing with it. It's the new Ricoh Theta S. Yeah, this is it. It's a tiny little device. Fits in your pocket. It's about the size of a candy bar, one of those old Nokia candy bar phones. Uh, I'll show you the controls real quickly, then I'll tell you what it does. This is a camera for a very special use. On-off switch, that turns the Wi-Fi off and on. That's important. I'll show you why in a second. This switch goes between still and video. Yeah, it's a video camera as well. There's a big button for taking the picture, and then these indicators tell you what mode it's in. Right now, I've got the Wi-Fi turned on, the camera turned on. Uh, you do want to keep it in this. Uh, they provide a kind of padded, uh, inexpensive uh, padded case, and you do want to keep it in this because these are glass lenses. These are good lenses. There's two of them on the camera, front and back. And they're very wide fisheye lenses, maybe 8 millimeter lenses. What's great about that is each lens is capturing 180 degrees in both directions. It sees everything above and below, everything to the left and right. So when you combine images from the two cameras, you're going to get a full 360 degree sphere. Again, in, audio, in, uh, in still as well as in video. Now... You're going to need some special software, obviously, to use this. They have software available for Mac and Windows. You can connect the camera. It has a, a, a USB connector, micro USB connector. By the way, it also has a mini HDMI connector. I'll tell you a little more about that in a second. So when you connect it up to the PC or the Mac, you offload it just like a regular camera. Or what's nice is you can use the Theta software for iOS and Android. I'm connected to the camera right now via Wi-Fi. The camera has is password protected so nobody else can join it. And I can control the camera via the Wi-Fi. That's really great. Yeah, allow it to use the location. So what you're going to see in a moment as soon as it copies over is the wide... Look at that. That's the wide look that it's getting... Now, that's not what the image is going to look like, but it gives you some idea of what you're seeing, including my hand holding the camera. All right. You do have a few settings here. You can change the uh, exposure, setting it up or down. Uh, and there are a few other uh, options that you can uh, mess with. I find that it's, a, you know, it's like a point-and-shoot camera. It's pretty good. Video is 1080p, which is, which is really good. It's fun to take high-def videos. Then once you uh, take your image... Uh, I'll show, actually let me take an image so we can uh, we can play with it a little bit. So let me uh, let me go out of this again and go back to the uh, Theta software. You want the software for remote control. It's nice to have it on your uh, phone because you don't want to get your 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 hand in the image. So let me just uh, take a quick picture here. Let's put this uh, somewhere interesting. I'll put it up on top of the. Uh, TV set there. It doesn't matter. I think one of the things that is fun with this is people say, oh, no, you got to point it at me. No, it doesn't matter. You don't have to point it at anything because it's going to get everything. So it doesn't matter who's in front of the camera. I'm going to snap the picture now. Look nonchalant. And it's going to synthesize the image. It's going to copy it uh, over to the iPad where I'll be able to see it as a 360 degree image. Let's do that uh, real quickly. Oops, that's the, this is photos I've copied already. Here's the camera, the actual images in the camera. There's three sections, not transferred, transferred, and all. So the picture I just took has not yet been transferred over. It's going to use the Wi-Fi to copy it over. just takes a few seconds. And the software itself is going to stitch the image and allow me to see it as a 360-degree image. This is the picture I just took. There's Carson, our producer, sitting there. There's uh, John Slanina. Here I am right here pressing the remote button. Uh, it goes all the way around. Whoops, it's stuck here for a second. Maybe it, maybe it was just too big of an image. Uh, and now this image, you obviously aren't going to want to upload. Hello? Yeah, what's something happened here? Let's, uh, let's go out of it. Uh, I'll take, you know, I took some other images, uh, including some uh, videos here. Um, if you go to leoville.com, uh, I have uh, some pictures and uh, images and to talk a little bit more about the details on this. Let's upload, take another uh, picture over here. Um, this one I took while I was holding it. And this is one of the things it does that's very interesting. It takes itself out of the picture. If you hold it, then which, or you put it on a tripod, you're going to get a weird-looking picture of your hand in the image. Notice there's no hole at the top. A lot of 360-degree cameras, there's a little hole at the top and the bottom. Not this. They, the Ricoh software stitches it really well. So that's a handheld one versus the uh, one I took a little bit earlier. Let's, let's go back to the one I took a little bit earlier where I use the remote control. Yeah, now it's moving. And you see, there's no camera visible, even though that's where the camera would be, is right there. Really an interesting image. Uh, 
And, and you saw how fast it did it. Video is even more intriguing. It'll record up to 25 minutes of a video in 1080p. The stitching software it offers on PC and Mac uh, doesn't do a great job. It's pretty quick. It does a great job with stills. This is a high-quality still. But video seems to be a little softer than the actual images captured. And I feel like in time, a better uh, uh, stitching software could come out. There is an API. Rico is encouraging people to write software that works with this camera, which is a great idea especially because the one feature I'm most interested in, live video out, doesn't work currently. Yes, you can get live video out of there, but what you'll get is unstitched video. We're waiting to see if somebody writes real-time software that would allow you to do a live 360-degree show. Wouldn't that be fun to offer a version of Twit in real time where if you put on uh, Google Cardboard or uh, the G Galaxy Gear VR, you could actually look around and see what's going on inside the show, be be kind of in the audience of the show as we're doing it. That's my my hope with this. Uh, but meanwhile, I've got a really great 360-degree camera that has software that lets me uh, easily look at the images. You can put them on uh, Rico's own site. They have a, a site for sharing them. It's called theta360.com. Uh, when you go to the 360 site, you can see my images, but you can see lots of other people's images. And it also displays those images in a way that you can uh, kind of browse around. This is our uh, our uh, recent staff meeting. And I took a picture of this. Um, you can zoom in and out, and this will give you some idea of the image quality. I won't zoom in on anybody but me, so uh, nobody else is embarrassed. But you can zoom in and out, and you see the image quality is, is pretty good. Good enough that you've got to be careful when you're using this camera not to uh, take pictures of important company classified information. It'd be easy enough to read that information if somebody zoomed in. I really have a great time with this camera. You get these amazing 360-degree images. Again, if you're going to post them on the Internet, you're going to probably want to post a link to the, th the Theta 360 site. I'll show you. That's how I did it on my, uh, on my blog post. You, it, you can also post to uh, YouTube, and I'll talk about that. If you don't do that, you're going to get this weird image because this is the unsynthesized image of the two wide-angle lenses. Um, the flattened version, I, I don't find that interesting. I think that that, you know... That's okay. That's the kind of stuff you wouldn't need special software to view. But I love it when you can uh, link back to the Theta 360 site and, and see these images. Let me show you what happens when you do video. I have, uh, I have uh, some of the video here on, uh, on my Android phone. It works, this works basically the same with Android and iOS. And when you go to YouTube, you'll notice YouTube and Facebook both support this kind of 360-degree uh, uh, video. I guess it's a, it's, I guess it's a fairly standard uh, form of video. So when you go to it, you'll see a couple of things. First, you'll see the cardboard icon. That means this is cardboard compatible. So if you turned your phone sideways and you inserted it in the cardboard device, it would give you stereo images, 3D images that you can look around. But even if you're not, look what happens with the phone. It's motion sensitive. And this is, by the way, video I'm playing back. So you can actually see, I'll turn the, uh, the audio up. This is the first 15 minutes of my radio show from last week. You really can't I can't turn it too much, but you can see I can I can move around. I can uh, do it with my fingers, but it also uses the accelerometer of the phone. So this can give you a real 3D experience, even if you don't have Google Cardboard. Of course, Google Cardboard is very affordable; only costs a few bucks, depending on where you get it. You can get fancier versions. The Gear VR is uh, there. You go, 99 bucks. Uh, but even on YouTube, you can you can move around like this. But you see, if you look real, uh, just at the image itself, it's a little smearier than the stills. I think the camera is capable of better video, but the stitching software that Rico distributes for free with the camera um, is, uh, I think, tuned to be speedy, not accurate, not as accurate. Stitching, though, is very good. You very rarely will you see uh, any stitching uh, issues, um, even even when you're looking at the camera. Look down, you see that little line there? That's, a sti that's the only stitching issue in this whole thing, and that's because it's stitched out the camera. That's, the cam that's where the camera would be, and I don't find that a, a problem at all. So let's talk about uh, availability and the pros and cons. First of all, uh, as I um, might have mentioned, I got this on Amazon, but it's back-ordered. Uh, B&H Photo will also have it. $350. Don't pay more. I'm sure there are scalpers out there saying, oh, you know, you can get it for $400 or more, trying to make a little money off the fact that this is back-ordered. But be patient. You will get it. I ordered it the minute they announced it. 
and I've been having a great time with it. It does, as I said, stills and video. So the pros and cons, the still quality is excellent. The video quality is potentially excellent, although the lack of good stitching software is definitely a con. Similarly, there is, as far as I know, Rico doesn't offer any live stitching software. So the fact that it has an HDMI port, while that's cool, is not yet. It's a future uh, the controls are easy. Uh, it has iOS and Android, uh, Mac and PC support. That's a definite pro. And I think $350 is an amazing price given what this camera is doing. The con, of course, is that's the only kind of picture it can take. And you can't just give those pictures to people. You have to post them on a site or stitch them in such a way that people can see them. Uh, it is a pro that you can post it on YouTube and Facebook now. The fact that they both support 360-degree video shows that... There is a, you know, there's a lot of support for this kind of virtual reality. Think of it as a do-it-yourself VR still and video camera. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a definite buy. The Ricoh Theta S. You can expect to see a lot more 360-degree pictures from me. And I think the size is great because I'll be carrying this around uh, as I travel. And yeah, I'll be using my good cameras most of the time. But every once in a while, I'll pull it out, get a 360-degree image or a 360-degree video, even better. How fun is that, to have that? Uh, and I suspect that uh, while it's early days for immersive video and VR, in years to come, this will be a very standard format, and uh, people will be very glad that Grandpa took the early 360-degree uh, pictures.